Hello, grade two and grade three. Happy Tuesday. I'm here with your ELA lesson for today. So today we are going to be working on a lesson just to review what a good sentence has because I next week I will be asking you to write me some super sentences. This week we're going to go over my um, basically what makes a super sentence. I'm going to give you guys some space to practice and then you guys are going to send me some super sentences if you can um, and I'd love to see your work. Okay, so what we're going to be doing today, I'm just about to switch views to my phone view so that you can see me work through this with you. I'm going to go over, but remember, a good sentence has a what and a who. A who did what, right? If I'm writing about a dinosaur, I could say the dinosaur stomp, but I can't just say the, the green dinosaur. All right, that's not a full sentence. What did it do? What are we talking about? Why are we talking about this green dinosaur? I can't say, okay, let's practice with my bottle of water. So I could say um, a super sentence about my bottle of water is this bottle of water is a reused bottle. Sorry, this bottle has water in it. This bottle is reused um, from a drink that somebody got me, some tea. Um, this bottle is see-through, so I could go, this is my very ecologically friendly water bottle. It is um, made of glass and full of water. Done. Okay? I probably wouldn't say water twice. It is made of glass and easy to carry it around and my cat can't drink out of it. What? Hooray! Okay? So I wouldn't just say my water bottle. I could say here my water bottle is on the table. I will take it or... Just wait, I'm going to take a drink of my water from my water bottle. Okay, there's lots of things that I can say about this water bottle, but it needs to have a who and a what. So if I just say, my water bottle, is that a full sentence? No. I haven't told you anything about my water bottle. Or let's try this. My scissors. Right? It sounds weird. You could say, here are my orange scissors. It's got a who and a what. My scissors are orange. You could say... I'm going to use my scissors to cut my work. Don't do that. I just cut. I just cut the page. But you can. You need to add details to make it a full sentence. So again, a sentence needs to have, needs to have a who and a what. A super sentence. I'm going to move my water bottle out of the way. A super sentence has a who and a what and describing words to make it more interesting for your your reader. I also would like to see capital letter at the beginning of your sentence. That is, guys. That is grade one stuff. Okay, I'm still getting submissions from people who are not, their capital letters are all over the place, um, or not there at all. That is something by the end of grade two, well, grade two, I should see it, end of grade three, I should definitely see it. So, your capital letters are only at the beginning of the sentence. They're not sparkled through the rest of the sentence, okay, so be paying attention to that. And you have punctuation at the end of your sentences. So, punctuation is... A period, an exclamation point, question mark, and those all would be depending on what you're writing. If I'm writing about my pen, I could say, how old is this pen? Oh, how old is this beautiful green pen? And that would be a question. I could say, I love this green pen so much! And that's an exclamation. It's true, I do love this pen so much. Um, or if it's just going to say, here is my green pen. then I could just have a period. I wouldn't have to have an exclamation point, okay? So an exclamation point is when you're like, yeah, this is so exciting. A question is when I'm asking a question, I could say, do you have any ink for my green pen? Okay, or that's a question. Or if it's just a period, I could say, I really love this green pen. I've had it a really long time. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking about my pens and my water bottles and my scissors. It's literally me looking around like, what can I make sentences about? I'm gonna switch to the phone view and I'm just gonna go through the sheet. You guys are gonna get to write about dinosaurs today. So pr this is practice for um, next week where I'm going to be giving you an assignment where you're going to have to write me some super sentences. Okay, so pay attention, practice this. Once you're done your sentences, we are going to have an ELA meeting, it is optional. Okay, you don't, optional means you don't have to come. If you have an older sibling who needs, you know, the device at that time, if you have uh, a parent who's using it for work, if it's just not going to work to attend the meeting, please don't stress. Don't worry. It's okay. The meeting is optional. But I am going to have an optional class meeting on Thursday, the 21st of May. 
at 10 a.m. Okay, so if you can make it, you can bring your sentences and read them at our meeting. If that is something that does not interest you and you just want to come to the meeting and not read your sentences, you can always send me a picture of your sentences. I would love to see them, okay, in a private message. If you're not sure how to do that, check the math video for today. There is a little thing, a little clip on the end that gives you instructions on how to submit things using a private message. Today is the day where I talk a lot at the beginning of my videos because I've gone on for five minutes again. So without any further chatter from your teacher, I'm going to switch to the phone view, okay? Okay, so we're gonna go through. Um, now, this is, I'm filming this before I send this out to you guys. It'll say a different date on there. Uh, it's a typo in my point part, and I uh, noticed it, but I'd already printed this out, and uh, yours won't have this. So it says, today we're gonna practice writing complete and correct sentences that include a who and a what. We are going to write about dinosaurs. So it says, tune into the video for a mini lesson to remind you what a good sentence has. So what does a good sentence have? And right now I just did a quick video uh, or introduction video at the beginning saying like a sentence has a who and a what, a subject. And what are you saying about the subject? You're saying something about the subject. So um, a capital letter at the beginning of the sentence. Now by grade three, I should not be getting a lot of work with um, your capital letters without capital letters at the beginning of the sentence. And I know that some of us have the habit of putting capital letters in the middle of their work. That's okay, but I want you to start becoming aware of that, okay? Becoming aware of putting capital letters in the correct space, okay? Um, juicy describing words and punctuation at the end of the sentence, and please add details. So let's go through. So this is the organizer. So we can pick all of from all these details or think of our own so that something dinosaur roared okay and it's asking you to think an adjective to describe the dinosaur so that terrible dinosaur that gigantic dinosaur that powerful dinosaur that unique dinosaur that extinct dinosaur i am going to say that mm, i'm trying to think of something I, i'm gonna say that terrible dinosaur so T A R R. I'll turn my team's notifications off. I B L E. That terrible dinosaur roared. And where did they roar? Okay, well, I've got behind a distant hill, at the edge of a bog, in the foothills. I'm going to say uh, in my basement. Running out of room. And when? Um, this morning. Now, that would be an exclamation point because there was a dinosaur in my basement. And that's exciting. Okay. Now, here is, you do not have to think of this one. This is just an example. You can use any of these. So brainstorming space, you can think of your own words and phrases to describe dinosaurs. Maybe you want to think of colors. Maybe your dinosaur will be green. Maybe your dinosaur will be tall. Maybe a dinosaur can be bumpy. Maybe a dinosaur has a long tail. Maybe your dinosaur has purple eyes. I don't know. This is made up. You can do whatever you want, guys. Um, maybe use your imagination. Maybe the dinosaur is blue. Maybe the dinosaur has feathers. Maybe it's um, eating a tree. <laughs> Okay, so you would brainstorm here. Think of anything you want to do about your dinosaur. And then I want you to turn it over. And it says, how many super sentences can you write about a dinosaur? So you are going to write, um, if you're in grade two, you're going to write at least one. If you're in grade three, I would like you to aim for two complete super sentences. So a super sentence has, now grade two is if you want to do more, cool. Um, it's kind of a challenge to see how many you can do. This is in English, okay? So you're going to write as many sentences as you can in English about the dinosaur. Okay, so it doesn't have to be about this particular dinosaur. You can think of a different dinosaur you want to write about. But you're going to write as many sentences as you can in English with a who and a what and describing words. Okay, and I'm, I would love to see this. But like I said, I'm all, um, 
those of you who are struggling to get your work set in, sent in, don't stress. Uh, writing is something I do like to see from you uh, when you do it. So if you get a chance to send me your writing once you're done, I would love to see it. Okay, and remember we are having a class meeting today at 10 a.m. Um, or sorry, on Tuesday, not today, Mrs. Oaks, on Tuesday at 10 a.m. It says, pick your favorite sentence to share at our optional class meeting on Thursday, the 21st of May. We will be meeting on Teams at 10 a.m. And I'm going to release an, a document outlining tips for a class meeting. I will also release a quick video explaining how to connect to our class meeting through the Teams app. I will be available on Teams from 9.30 to 10 o'clock that morning to answer questions about joining the meeting. You will find details about the optional class meeting in the morning meeting most post for Thursday. Okay. If you don't want to share a sentence, but you still want to go to the meeting and see your friends and your teacher, that's awesome. Um, when it's your turn to, to share, you can just say pass. Okay. So just a couple things about my meetings. Um, I've tried them with the grade fours and fives and it's awesome, but everyone needs to mute their mics and take their turns talking. Know that I can mute your mic for you if you are um, chatting and interrupting. And I can also... Um, I will also be expecting that everyone is respectful, and I know you guys are going to be. But it'll be nice to see anyone who can join us for this optional, which means you don't have to come, don't stress if you can't make it, for this optional class meeting on Thursday. And you can bring one of your sentences to read at the class meeting. So pick your super sentences. It could be a funny super sentence. Uh, it could be a silly super sentence. Just make sure it's school appropriate super sentence uh, about a dinosaur. Okay, so hopefully I'll see you on Thursday, not today, on Thursday at 10 a.m. Thursday, the 21st of May at 10 a.m. for a quick class meeting. It's only going to be half an hour. That doesn't seem like a lot of time, but um, I've had class meetings with the grade four or fives and half an hour is plenty of time for everyone to get a chance to check in. All right. Um, again, on the class meeting, you can share one of your sentences or you could also just share something you want to share with the class or both. All right, I hope to see you on Thursday, but again, if I don't see you, that's okay. Um, enjoy your work, and I will be seeing you again on Thursday for another ELA video or for the, um, and or for the optional class meeting, okay? Have a wonderful rest of your day.